Now let us discuss exponents and powers. Now what is an exponent or and what is a power? Now if two is multiplied five times, then two into two into two into two into two. Here two is multiplied five times, then this is written as two raised to the power five. So two to the power of five. If three is multiplied four times, so three into three into three into three. Here three is multiplied by three four times. So this can be written as three to the power of four. So in general, if five is multiplied n times, so five into five into five into and so on into five. So here five is multiplied n times. Then this equals to five to the power of n. Means here five raised to the power n. Here three raised to the power four. So in the first case, two raised to the power five. So in general, if a raised to the power m, then here a is called base and m is called exponent. If a raised to the power m, then here a is called the base and m is called the exponent. So here a to the power of m is called the power. Now in the first case, here the base is two and the exponent is five. In the second case. Three is the base and four is the exponent. In the third case, five is the base and n is the exponent. Now, what is two power minus three? Means here base is two and the exponent is minus three. But here we have not seen the negative power. So if the negative power is given, then how to find its value? Now we will discuss powers with negative exponents. So for that, first we will take ten power three. So ten power three equals to ten into ten into ten. This equals to ten tens are hundred, hundred tens are thousand. Now we will decrease the exponent by one. So next we will take ten power two. So this equals to ten into ten. This equals to hundred. So how you got this hundred? Dividing the thousand previous. Power thousand by ten. So if thousand is divided by ten, we are getting hundred. Next, you will find ten to the power of one. This equals to ten itself. And next, ten power zero. So we are decreasing the exponent by one. So how we are getting the value of the ten power two by dividing thousand divided by ten. And again, how we are getting ten here, dividing its previous value by Ten. So this divided by thousand divided by ten is hundred. Hundred divided by ten is ten. The next ten power zero. Again, this ten is divided by ten. This equals to one. Next, when you decrease the exponents three, two, one, zero, then next you have to take ten to the power of minus one. This equals to and divide the previous result by ten. So here one divided by Ten. This equals to one by ten. Next, ten to the power of minus two. This equals to so one by ten is divided by ten. This equals to one by ten into again one by ten. This equals to one one zero one by ten into ten ten square. Now we'll take ten power minus three. So this equals to the previous result is one by ten square. So this must be divided by ten. So this equals to one by ten square into the reciprocal of ten is one by ten. So this equals to one one zero one by ten square into ten ten q. So when you observe the negative powers, ten power minus one is one by ten power one, and ten power minus two is equals to one by ten power two. And ten power minus three equals to one by ten power three. Now let us take another example. When you take three square, three cube, it is three into three into three equals to twenty-seven. Next, three square is obtained by dividing the previous result by three. So twenty-seven divided by three. This equals to nine. 
Next, 3 to the power of 1. This equals to, again, 9 divided by 3. So, this equals to 3. Next, 3 power 0. So, in this case also, we are dividing, we are taking all the exponents by decreasing 1. So, 3 power 0 equals to 3 divided by 3. This equals to 1. Next, 3 power minus 1. So, this equals to, here, the previous result 1 divided by 3. This equals to 1 by 3. Next, 3 power minus 2 equals to 1 by 3 divided by 3. This equals to 1 by 3 into 1 by 3. This equals to 1 by 3 square. Now, 3 power minus 3 equals to the previous result is 1 by 3 square divided by 3. So, this equals to 1 by 3 square into 1 by 3. So, this equals to 1 by 3 cube. So, here also we can observe that 3 to the power of negative power means 3 to the power of minus 1 equals to 1 by 3 to the power of 1 and 3 to the power of minus 2 equals to 1 by 3 to the power of 2 and 3 to the power of minus 3 equals to 1 by 3 to the power of 3. So, in general, see here, 10 power minus 3 equals to 1 by 10 power 3 and 3 power minus 2 we got 1 by 3 to the power of 2. So, in general, if a is a non-zero integer, And n is a positive integer, then we can write a to the power of minus n as 1 by a to the power of n. See, 10 power minus 3 means 1 by 10 power 3. So, here a to the power of minus n can be written as 1 by a to the power of n. Or here, 10 power 3 can be written as 1 by 10 to the power of minus 3. Here also, 3 power 2 can be written as 1 by 3 to the power of minus 2. So, this formula can be written as a to the power of n equals to 1 by a to the power of minus n. So, if a is any non-zero integer, and n is a positive integer, then we can write a to the power of minus n equals to 1 by a to the power of n or a to the power of n equals to 1 by a to the power of minus n. Here, a power minus n is the multiplicative inverse of a power n or here a power n is the multiplicative inverse of a to the power of minus n. Now, what is the multiplicative inverse of 4 power minus 3. So, the multiplicative inverse of 4 power minus 3 is 4 to the power of 3. And what is the multiplicative inverse of 5 power minus 7? The multiplicative inverse of 5 power minus 7 is 5 to the power of 7. And what is the multiplicative inverse of 3 power 8? The multiplicative inverse of 3 power 8 is 3 to the power of minus 8. Now let us see the question now. Write the multiplicative inverse of the following. So what is the multiplicative inverse of 2 power minus 4? So the multiplicative multiplicative inverse of 2 to the power of minus 4 is 2 to the power of 4. And the multiplicative inverse of 10 to the power of minus 5 is 10 to the power of 5. And the multiplicative inverse of 5 to the power of minus 3 is 5 to the power of 3. Because the product of these two numbers is 1. If the product of the two numbers is 1, then each one is called the multiplicative inverse of the other.